time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. 6,000 people nationwide were injured last year from snowblower accidents and the number one injury, finger amputations. And tonight, what you need to know before firing up your snowblower. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Well, there's no doubt snowblowers make your job so much easier, but they can also cause serious injuries even when the power is off. When we get walloped with snow, the sound of snowblowers rev up and boy, do they make dealing with this so much easier than shoveling. But with this convenience comes a very serious price if you're not careful. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, each year roughly 6,000 people go to the emergency room for treatment of snowblower related injuries. A lot of the injuries actually occur when you're dealing with that heavy wet snow because that's when snowblowers are more likely to get clogged. And when they do, the exit chute where the snow blows out, people will stick their hands inside to unclog it. Even if the machine is shut off, the, uh, the rotation can still occur of the, of the spinning parts in there and the fingers can get pulled in and chopped and mutilated. Snowblowing accidents like these are preventable. Snowblowers do come with instructions on how to fix clogs and should be followed to avoid amputations. You should not be sticking your hand in there. You should be using uh, either the device that comes with a snowblower to dislodge the snow or uh, a stick or a broom handle, but don't get your hand anywhere near that exit chute. Dr. Zink says each year his emergency room treats at least 10 to 12 patients with amputations from snowblowers. And unfortunately, the injuries are so bad, the chances of reattachments extremely low. And one other word of advice, start early. As soon as there's snow covering the ground, start using the snowblower or shovel. That way you stay on top of it before it gets too heavy. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.